problem 2104. In this problem, we have a massless, four feet wide gate shown in the figure below, which pivots about a frictionless hinge located at O. It is held by, in place by a 2,000 pound counterweight shown in the figure. What we need to determine is the elevation of the water H. So let me just review what I said that we're looking for in this problem. The amount of water that we have is going to create a reaction force against the gate. And this weight that we have over here keeps it so that it doesn't, so that this doesn't open. So we need to find out what is the maximum elevation that we have for the water so that this system remains in place. Once that elevation is higher, then a minimum value that we will find out, this gate will open and then the water will overflow. So that's what we need to find out. We need to find out what is this force and what is the position for it. Okay? So let's just start with that. We have, we know that the value of the reaction force is equal to gamma, H, C, and A. The gate has a rectangular shape, so I'm just gonna draw this gate. This is going to be the location of the centroid. So this HC is the centroid of the geometry of the object that we're looking for, which in this case is a rectangle. The elevation of this is going to be H, which we don't know. And we know that the rectangle, it's in the middle of it. So HC in this case is going to be um, H divided by two. We have that the depth is equal to four feet, but for now I'm just gonna label it as D. So the reaction force is going to be gamma of water, HC, which is basically H divided by two, and the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be H times D. So at the end, this is gamma H squared D over two. Okay, so that's the value of the reaction force. Now let's talk about what it is the type of um, distribution that this force, uh, that this pressure creates. We know that this is a vertical surface and we know that the pressure starts at zero over here because it is exposed to atmospheric conditions and then it expands all the way to the bottom linearly and the value at the bottom is going to be simply gamma times H. And this is going to be a uh, linear distribution, so it looks like a triangle. We know that the distribution of the triangle, the centroid of that distribution, is located at one-third from the bottom corner. So this is the location from one-third. When you do the measurements or when you evaluate the value of the location of that reaction force, make sure that you choose the same point all the time. So in this case, I'm going to use the pivot because we're going to do the moment about that single point. The other way that you could find out this value of the location is by using the formula yr is equal to ixc yac plus yc. When you do this evaluation, you use the value, of course, for a rectangle. So notice that this I or C is going to be 1 12th and it's going to be the depth that you're going to have and it's going to be H to the third. And then YC, notice that the YC, we already have it as HC, which is basically H over 2. And the area is H times D, right? And we got H over 2. If we do this process and you cancel things out and you do the process, you're going to it's going to give you two thirds of H. What is different is when you do this evaluation, the measurement is taken from the zeroth point or from the surface. So notice that this is the two thirds that you get from that evaluation, okay? It's not that it's different or wrong, it's simply that we take it from a different point, okay? So as long as you keep it from the same point, that is the value that we're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to take it in my case. So I'm just simply going to use this distance over here.
from the pivot point. Why do I care about the pivot point? Because now what we have is now summation of forces and summation of moments. So now this is your pivot point and then this is your gate. The forces that we have, we have force FR which we calculated and is located at one third of H from the pivot, from this point. Then at this moment, we have the other component, we have this. And at this moment, we have the other force, which is going to be the weight, right? And this one is located at a distance of three feet. Okay. Notice that we do not care about the vertical distance because the force is also vertical. The moment is going to be only associated with the vertical force and the horizontal distance. And what we know is that the moment created by the force has to be equal to the moment created by the weight. Okay, so now let's write that. So let's just start FR times the, the distance of L or the arm is going to be H over third. And this is going to be positive since it's counterclockwise minus the weight that we have times three feet. And that is negative because it's clockwise. It has to be equal to zero. Okay. So now let's simply substitute the other values that we have. We have FR to be gamma H square D two. And we got H over three. And this is going to be equal to W times three feet. Okay. So now what we do is we simply substitute all the values, right? And then if we do a little bit of math, we're going to find out that h to the third is equal to the pound of weight that we have, which was 2,000 pounds. We have the three feet from the arm. We have this three and this two. So it's going to be three times two. We're going to divide by gamma, which is 62.4 pounds per feet cubed. And then we have the depth, which it was four feet. Okay. And then we find that this value is equal to 5.24 feet. So that tells you that the highest possible elevation, well, after we do the square root, of course. So let me, sorry, let me take this back and this is going to be cubic root. The value that we get is 5.24 feet. So what that means is that that is the highest possible elevation that you could have in the water so that that particular weight will hold the gate in place. If you have anything higher than this, the gate will open because the moment will be higher. The gate will open and the water will overflow. As long as the water level is below this value, then the, basically the gate will stay in place.